Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. It seems there are a few places like the US where a suing culture is so common. Suing someone isn't rare here and suing big companies is very common. You can't have liabilities here because they most certainly will be found. For Disney, this seems to be a daily occurrence. From everyday average Joes to Bill Nye the Science Guy, people really have a bone to pick with Disney. Today we're looking at the top 10 times Disney was sued. But before we get started, why not become an archivist today by clicking that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. If you end up enjoying this video, let us know by giving it a thumbs up and in the comments section, tell us what you'd love to sue Disney for. Number 10. Chilean Guy Who Won't Let It Go Jaime Chiero, a Chilean singer, sued Disney for allegedly ripping off Let It Go from one of his songs. He says his song, Polar, bears eerie similarities to the hit that toddlers all around the world can't stop singing. Chiero says that even though his song is in Spanish, the melodies are very alike, down to the note combinations, the structures, the lyrics, themes, production, and textures. Now, I don't know what textures are in music, but that guy sounds like he knows what he's talking about, and we should all go give Folar a few hundred listens. If Disney won't pay, make Spotify do it. Two years after filing, Sierra dropped the suit and both parties agreed to pay their own attorney fees. Number 9. Palace Pets Goes Rogue Disney Princess Palace Pets, an app for children, got slapped with a class action lawsuit for invading the privacy of children. That's some big talk. Amanda Rushing, a mother from San Francisco, is suing the Disney company and other software companies, claiming she never gave parental consent about the app collecting the data of her young daughter. The lawsuit claims that the app is among 40 others gathering data on activities on the same device and selling the information to advertisers. Since there is no parental consent involved, this is actually a big problem, according to plaintiffs who say it violates the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. Disney, of course, disagrees. The suit was filed in 2017, and the case is still ongoing. Number 8. Frozen in South Korea South Korean Disney was sued recently for Frozen 2. Just goes to show, you can't go internationally famous without getting internationally sued. This time, the Public Welfare Committee filed a complaint with Seoul Central District prosecutors saying Korean Disney was violating monopoly laws in the domestic film market. Why? According to the complaint, two days after its release, it was in 88% of theaters in the country and being shown 16,220 times per day. Since they say Frozen 2 was way above the 50% of the market mark, it was in clear violation. It's unclear what happened next, but knowing Disney, it either went away quietly, or it's still in legal processes and bureaucracy. Number 7. Frozen 2 Strikes Again a Nevada-based company is suing Disney for using the motto, Trust Your Journey, as part of their marketing materials for Frozen 2. According to them, they have had the name much longer, using it, inspired by its founder, a cancer survivor, and young widowed mother who used the motto to cope with her struggles and thrive. She uses the motto to inspire others suffering from or surviving cancer. What do you think? A lawsuit with legs? Or a way to cash in on the $240.9 million Frozen 2 made on its first day alone? Number 6. Ma Super Lemi Oh, plagiarism. So many big companies are accused of it. Hey, I'm not saying those complaining are right, but I'm also not saying they're not. This time, Disney was in a long relationship with their opponent. A French cartoon popular in Europe, Ma Super Lemi was, according to Disney, the character that would bring the energy and cuteness they needed. Unfortunately, other things started happening around the same time they signed a contract. They were having hit after hit, and Marsupalami was looking dull in contrast. They pushed him aside. But Marsupalami had lawyers. 
The promises Disney had made had not come to fruition, and they had legitimate reasons to sue. Among those promises, a 13-episode animated series and licensing of the character to get him everywhere, among other things. In the end, Marsu received close to $10 million for not fulfilling the contract on every point. Number 5. Inside Out Gets Sued it was a child development expert this time who took a swing at Disney for their movie Inside Out. Her idea was to explore children's emotions through characters who all represented a respective feeling or mood. Her name is Denise Daniels, and her idea was called The Moodsters. Get this, she actually says she pitched the idea to Disney Pixar several times between 2005 and 2009. However, her complaint falls short when it says that there was an implied-in-fact contract. So, a non-contract, non-verbal agreement said she'd receive money if and when Disney decided to use her idea. She's not the first to say a screenplay idea was mysteriously on screen without permission or notice. Zootopia has also been called out. It's still up in the air what will happen with this particular lawsuit, but I'm rooting for the David in this David and Goliath tale. Number 4. Disney Stole My Autobiography A Peruvian author claimed in 2014 that Frozen was a plagiarized version of her autobiography called Yearnings of the Heart. The author sued for $328.3 million and says there are 18 ways the movie plagiarizes her own story. Disney, on the other hand, says they took inspiration from a Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale where a lot of their stories are from. Since he's long gone, they know he's not coming after them for hundreds of millions of dollars. I have to say, unless you have magical freezing powers, an amazing sister, and live where there's actually ice, this is not the most believable suit. If you know more details, feel free to convince me in the comments. Number 3. Bill Nye Sues Disney Throwing it back to 2017, Bill Nye sued Disney saying he and the co-creators of Bill Nye the Science Guy had not been paid the amount promised, 50% in profits. After a lengthy struggle to access the show's financial records, an auditor eventually priced Disney's underreporting at $28.1 million, which is what the suit is for, but of that amount, Nye claims that Disney owes him $9.4 million. The case was set to head to trial in May of 2020, but with the coronavirus outbreak, it's most likely going to get pushed back for a few. Number 2. Pirates of the Caribbean Whether you pronounce it Caribbean or Caribbean, you'll certainly recognize this Disney favorite. It was a Game of Thrones theme song before there was a Game of Thrones theme song. What you might not know is that it was the target of a lawsuit that claimed that the concept, characters, and even part of the dialogue was stolen. The complaint says Disney producers expressed interest in the writer's script called Red Hood. Their lawyers submitted the script on their behalf. It was bought, but later scrapped and not produced. Their script bears an extremely close resemblance to Pirates, and it seems their material continues to come up with every new movie of the franchise. Fearful that they'd kill their writing careers by suing Disney, they waited until they retired from the industry to pursue it. What happened after is unclear, but if you know more, drop it in the comments. Number 1. Dude, That's My Van Shinzi, Bonsai, and Ed are three familiar names that most of us would recognize, that is, if you watched Disney's The Lion King. Although it's a beloved family classic, The Lion King was met with lots of controversy upon its release. One bigger complaint came from a hyena biologist who actually sued Disney for defamation of character, saying that the film's representation and perception of the animals were far from reality. Another hyena expert, who facilitated the animator's research trip to study animal behavior, encouraged viewers to boycott the film. In the end, there isn't much of a follow-up story to be found on the internet, so we're guessing the case was either dropped or dismissed. Thanks for watching. Don't let it go. Express yourself about any of these or other lawsuits against Disney. Do you think they're valid? Let us know in the comments. Be sure to subscribe click the bell and give this video a like. 
Oh look, here are two more videos to choose from that you can watch right now.